in today's video, I want to talk to all men about boots on ground experience. Let's talk about it. to the most high thank you for tuning in to another righteous spiritful episode today i'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business man it is uh 6 a.m where i am been up since four you know getting that early boots on ground experience as i drop a uh a young soldier off to attend his first leadership school in the army as an e4 they call it BLC basic leadership course okay you know this is one of many schools that soldiers go through to learn the complexities the intricacies of leadership and the longer you choose to stay in or this soldier stays in the more classes and uh, courses you will go to I'm talking about courses at a minimum two weeks long some some two months long you know they got courses in the uh in the military that for that enhance leadership up to six months long at some times depending on what 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 facet we're talking about but man what's going on with uh ringo tv is pretty much the main one and some of these other brothers are jumping on. You got, uh, you know, Mark the Messenger. Um, you got a lot of these brothers are jumping on. And this is the reason why fruit is very important. You know, first and foremost, I want to say all of those brothers got some, you know, they have uh, some, some good content, okay? When it comes to the message, they have some good content. Now, some of this stuff, that Ringo has been posting nine hours of, of video streaming and all of this, man, it goes to show that uh, a man that age, you cannot, everybody got the same 24 hours in a day. And if you're stuck behind that keyboard, you know, your boots on ground experience on a daily basis or the fruit that you're able to produce, is it has to be very minimal. And I often tell people, hey, you have to come out from these cities, come out from these cities and everybody's come out looks a little bit different. It takes it takes a different uh, length of time for everybody. But you have to come out from these big cities because your boots on ground or your uh, experience is going to be very minimal. You know, I want to say this, and it is not to throw no shade, but a lot of these young men, a lot of content creators, you know, lack boots on ground experience. You have content creators that are 20 years old, 22 years old, and are giving, uh, making business related, how to run a business content. And then when you get to the bottom of it and see like how much business have you, how many businesses have you ran? How much business have you ran? You find out they don't, they, they have no boots on ground experience. And this is the reason why you get uh, error in their message. This is the reason why behind that camera, you can talk so uh, boldly and sound so confident because you haven't been through no kind of test. You see what I'm saying? And people having a uh, 100,000, 500,000, a million followers on YouTube is nowhere near in comparison. We're talking apples and oranges in comparison to be able to, as a, as a man, have 10 people uh, constantly come to you for leadership, bring you their problems, and you have to teach them problem solving skills you got to do uh 
uh, find viable solutions to what they're going with. And we see this from a lot of content creators. I'm not just shooting from the hip here. You know, Robert Nawasaki, I think that's his name, the dude that uh, wrote the Rich Dad, Poor Dad series, he said, man, I dropped out of college, you know, when I realized I asked my professor who was uh, teaching our business major course, you know, how many businesses he ran and his professor had never ran a business, never owned, never operated a business. And he said, if my goal is to run a business, why am I going to somebody to learn from somebody that's never done it? And he realized, okay, it was just a, you know, it was just employment. But I'll tell, I'll tell these young men, you guys got a lot of potential, but just walking around the park, making videos, sitting behind your computer desk, you know, for, for hours on end, man, that's not, that's not, that is not the ability to lead. And I want you to understand a lot of young men run from leadership, especially us run from leadership experiences. Why? Because they don't want the good and bads that come with it. And I'll tell you, man, when you get boots on ground leadership experience, man, you have to, you got to think at my level, man, I have about, I have probably about a good 12, 12 people that manage their own, their groups. And I have to answer for all of it. You know, whether it be uh, somebody go get a DUI, I got to go stand on the carpet. I have to know the five W's of the five W's of what happened, who, what, when, where, and why, you know, a lot of times people, they, uh, they want the benefits that come with leadership and then they don't last long because they don't realize how selfless leadership is. Even if you're getting paid, there's jobs out here where you just not going to get compensated for the amount of suck that you got to go through as a leader. But for a lot of these young men, you know, especially caught up in this, uh, pastor Rufus, pastor Dow adultery stuff, you don't have no skin in the game. And, 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 and somebody that does can smell it on you can smell it on you. You know, the only thing that you have led is possibly your household, but to have people coming to you, uh, at a large multitude in the physical presence, having boots on ground, man, that ain't the same thing as sitting behind a computer, responding to emails, responding to comments. It's apples and oranges. We not even speaking the same language. You know, a lot of these brothers speak so boldly not to have any kind of recognition of their inability. And I'm telling you, if you don't seek out these challenging leadership positions in life, I, it can be even coaching boys, you know, coaching a, a sport or something. But we don't, out of all you guys, we don't see you making these videos and, and, and response videos. You ha I, I don't see the fruit. I do not see the fruit. And this is what I want you to think. A lot of you got good ideas about, okay, we shouldn't run from community, but who is gonna, who is going to uproot their family, follow the leadership that you think you have and you don't have the fruit to back that up? Listen to what I'm saying. How can you sit up and, and persecute and judge a man that has fruit and it's been working and the only fruit that you got is bumping your gums behind that computer screen. It doesn't equate. It doesn't equate. And this is why it says, by their fruit, you shall know them. You gotta look at man, Ringo TV reactions. His whole premise, the foundation of what his content is based on is a reaction. And then you realize to men that have boots on ground experience, don't nobody give a damn about your reaction. To be honest, no matter how much time you spend, it would be more fruitful to disagree and actually bear fruit, bear produce. 
And I'm not talking about a monetary. Oftentimes this generation of men, they try to equate monetary value, uh, uh, having that in, in, in lieu of having actual experience. And I, I'd be willing to bet, man, your average, when you're driving by a residential neighborhood or you're seeing guys on the job site, somebody's got to be in charge. But if you can't even submit yourself to leadership, who the heck is going to follow you in the physical realm? I'm not talking about just on YouTube. When you haven't proven yourself to be able to lead anybody out of bowl of jello, you know, nobody has a, nobody has a testimony. The masses don't have a testimony about your leadership, man. Where's the fruit? That's the difference between boots on ground experience, man. I've seen, you know, I, there's times where I may go to a cookout. I may be around family and people they open their mouth about people that are in leadership. And then when you go back and look what you do, you have, you, you, you don't do anything in the realm of leadership, leading men, leading families, but yet you got all these reactions and opinions, which is rightfully, you can have whatever opinion or, but don't think we're in the same, we're in the same ballpark. You got to think, man, a store manager, of Home Depot has got more experience than a lot of you brothers in leading men. You know, the guy going around with a uh, a landscaping crew got more experience. And this is why I tell men, hey, you have to come out from the city. That city is gonna keep you soft. And if you're not seeking these, uh, seeking these experience, when you, if you're not seeking these experiences, how are you ever going to grow? A lot of you guys are saying, man, that's why I couldn't do this. And that's why I couldn't do that. And ain't nobody never letting, you know, this happen. But man, there's, there's, there is good and bad that comes with leadership. And there's more taking accountability for the bad of others and leadership than most men realize. You're catching the short end of the stick nine times out of 10. And that's what a lot of men run from that boots on the ground experience. But those testimonies are very important. Hey, it was your, it was your firm leadership, man, that changed my life. That was exactly what I needed. Nobody in my life ever talked to me like that. They always sugarcoated it. You see what I'm saying? Hey, it was that, it was that time when, when, you know, you had me dead to rights and you could have issued a judgment, but you showed mercy seeing that I was truly ignorant. Man, it's those, it's those testimonies. Man, I want you to understand, you guys are talking very boldly, but nobody is seeing fruit. Only fruit that you produce is video after video after video. We not seeing you doggone doing nothing laboring with these. And you 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 might be doing it, but but for Ringo, not not you can't be doing too much laboring, especially in you in that in that big old city. It, the, the city life is just not like that. Not in New York, if, if if that's where you are. But man, I just challenge you, brothers, man, go 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 volunteer uh, and coach, you know, at an opportunity where even if you mess it up, you know, lives are not at stake, but. You guys truly don't get to witness, you know, the stuff that you tell people and how it possibly impacts their life negatively. You see what I'm saying? You don't get to witness that. And there's an intimate part of having boots on the ground experience, boots on the ground leadership to where if you give somebody some bad advice, oh, you don't have to do that. Don't worry about that. Forget what the book says and they lose their life because of that? You guys just don't, you don't have that, you don't have that experience. You don't have it. And if you do have it, you, I mean, you, you put forth fruit so people can know who you are. By their fruit, you shall know them. But 
it looks it looks completely asinine and retarded, spiritually retarded, for you guys to be sitting up. I don't even think I don't even think you guys if you had to take five families and put them together and try to make strides, yeah, I, I I would just, just by the fruit that you guys show, you don't even have that level of experience to be able to do it. And it's not saying that you can't get it, but I see a lot of, li I see a lot of uh, bumping gums, stroking that keyboard behind the AC is one thing. Being boots on the ground, embracing that suck, that's a whole nother thing. And for that reason, man, I only had a 20 minute break before I got to get boots on ground. I don't have time to make no, no, uh, two, three hour, four hour, five hour, seven hour video. It's time to get back on ground in action to produce fruit. Close to the Yah Ministries, kicking that thing, gun barrel straight.